All right, pressure's on. We found where the Palm Oasis is, but we have to leave in like 20 minutes to stay on schedule. So we're kind of booking it now. And also, we're really trying hard not to roll an ankle. Morning team, it's been a great morning so far. We woke up, had a pancake breakfast with some bacon and then also some fruit. Then we broke down camp and now we're out here back in Joshua Tree National Park doing the 49 Palms Oasis Trail, I think it is. And then we've got a couple other things in store for the day. So it's gonna be another good one. I also got a sunburn on my neck, so I'm rocking the buff today. Dude, buffs are clutch. Yeah. Like, I don't like the fact that they make it look like I'm wearing a turtleneck, but <laughs> I'd much rather have a turtleneck than a sunburn. It is spring in the desert and the wildflowers, they are just going off. Like, check this out, how beautiful is this? Just all over here on the hillside. Tons of beautiful yellow wildflowers here. And it's just gorgeous out here. Earlier the group was saying that these guys have adapted to the desert so that like right in here, they're actually storing water up and they're keeping that as a reserve. So whenever it's really dry, like really soon, well, also right now, guys, it's really dry. I'm tired, I'm thirsty. But whenever it doesn't rain for long periods of time, they can just use that water reserve so the plant doesn't die. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, also, I see palm trees now. They're off in the distance. You probably can't see them yet, but I promise you, they're there. All right, pressure's on. We found where the Palm Oasis is, but we have to leave in like 20 minutes to stay on schedule. So we're kind of booking it now. And also, we're really trying hard not to roll an ankle. Holy cow, I almost wore my hiking shoes today, but I'm really glad I wore my trail running shoes because that, that helped out quite a bit. Huh. The only thing that's rough right now, I would love some water, but I have it all in my backpack because my camera backpack for hiking, for some weird, stupid reason, doesn't have space for a hydration bladder, nor does it have a hole in there. So I've got to carry all this water in now jeans, and right now, I can't be sipping. So once we get there, which looks to be pretty soon, yes. Good news, we're close. Once I get there, I gotta rehydrate. We did it. We made it to the 49 Palms Oasis. Now I think we're gonna count how many palms there are just because we wanna see if there legitimately are 49 palm trees at the 49 Palms Oasis. We made it, finally. Check out this view really quick. There's, there's Canyon right now and the rest of our group is already heading back somewhere over there. And look, more palm trees. We unfortunately didn't have time to count them, but we're just gonna take it for what it is and guess that it's 49, but it's now 10.10. We have to be back at the parking lot at 11. Um, so we're gonna start running back now, unfortunately. I hydrated, I feel way better now. Again, it would be awesome to have a freaking hydration blyer. Why can't that be possible in camera backpacks? <laughs> I'm just so amped over all these wildflowers out here. And that's what I love about the desert so much. And, I, and coming from Florida, where it's all green all the time and humid, I never thought I would like the dry, arid, desolate desert, just because I thought there was no life here. But, but I've realized it's the complete opposite, that in the desert, where you think that there's no life, I found that it gives you new life and it just shows how much life there actually is. And I love the desert, especially in the springtime, because there's so much new life coming into play and like being birthed. And I really felt that like in my own life last year as well. Felt like I was in a rut last year. Whenever I got out to the desert, it just felt like new life was breathed right into me. If you ever have the chance to come out to the desert, if you've never been to the desert before, 
I would highly recommend it. I would highly recommend coming out here and just seeing all the life that springs up out of nowhere. It's absolutely amazing. You will be blown away. It might also take your breath away, but I'm also on a steep incline, so that could be it too. But I'm going with the life out here. It's taking my breath away. Come on, dude. You can do it. Oh, you got it, buddy. New route? New route. Good idea. Oh, I feel so bad. I wanted to help that tortoise out so much. He, was, he or she was just struggling so much. But I know that by me helping him out, I'm doing way more harm than actual. It's got to leave it be and let him struggle on its own. Hopefully, figure out a new route and be able to get on the merry way. Made it back from the hike. On to the next adventure. Next adventure of the day. We're doing this thing called the Integratron. So we go inside that big dome looking thing. I don't know what it's called. We're, or we're gonna call it a dome. So you go inside this big dome and you are getting this like sound bath meditation thing. So it's supposed to be like super relaxing and chill and I'm really looking forward to this. I've never heard of it or done it, but I think it's so cool. Right here where you can put where your hometown is. Where did I put it? Florida. <clears throat> and you also put down what your middle name is. Your job, figure out what my middle name is. I wrote my middle name somewhere up here. Your job, comment below with what you think my middle name is and then I might let you know what it actually is. If you already know, please don't be mean. That's just mean. Holy cow, that was, that was an amazing just relaxing experience. I knew nothing about this the Integratron before I came here, but it was, it was awesome. It was just, like real ambient noise and all that and pretty much like if you're interested in if you like meditation or if you enjoy relaxing in any way shape or form like this thing is perfect for that it was incredible highly would recommend it for sure next adventure of the day meeting up with my friend nicole she's also a Merrill ambassador in oh she also started this awesome instagram account called women who hike uh, you guys are like what like over 100k on that now it's a lot. It was so we like, have an awesome community of women that spans worldwide. Yeah. All ages, all skill levels. Check it out at Women Who Hike on yeah. social media. Like, and you started that like what, maybe two years ago at uh, most? January of last year. Yeah, you and Savannah started it like, oh, so not even just over a year old. Yeah. Just like, holy year. crap, that's insane. Yeah. But yeah, so we're, I'm going to take pictures. We're going to meet up with Nicole's friends in a second. They're climbing. And then we've got more adventures today, too. This, it's pretty awesome. We ditched the whole idea of climbing and now we're just taking pictures with some of our, our other friends. Nicole's taking Morgan up the hill because apparently it's hard to get up there on a skateboard. He's gonna try and like steeze it with a long port and I'm gonna try and get his photo with that in the background. So there's cars coming but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Was that scary? <laughs> I wasn't going that fast. Yo, I'm loving the wildflowers, but where are the palm trees? Oh, the oasis is where we're going. Gotcha. That makes sense now.